Hey guys, in this video, I'll be creating a realistic 3D render in just about 15 minutes. I'll show you the entire process of how I use different softwares and AI technology to create my renders. So let's go to my laptop screen. So I've already created this 3D model in SketchUp and I'll be rendering it with AI. Now in order to do so, you must make sure that the entire model and the scene is complete. As right now, the background, the trees, etc. are missing. A few materials are missing. So I'll just quickly add those things. First of all, I'll add the background. I'll just fast forward it that as this is a rendering video, not a modeling video. And I'll get to the results quickly. Now just add a few materials. Uh, add the markers for the road. Uh, some, some more materials were missing, so I'll just add them. Now it's important to add some vegetation in the background. So AI can pick it up and add some some of its own vegetation you can do it in any software i'm using sketchup here but i can use lumion or any other software that i like to just get the hang of the scene so that ai can pick it up just add a car and minute details here and there just to make the scene a bit more interesting now once my scene is ready just adjust the camera angle so that everything is clear and easy for ai to pick up and just take a screenshot or in SketchUp, you can export it as a 2D image, save it in your computer. Now I want you guys to open your web browser and go to their website chromeai.pro. Just simply sign in using your Google account. Now go to all tools and go to the sketch rendering tool. Upload the image that we just saved. Once uploaded, we have different options. We can type a prompt, insert a reference image or select from pre-installed themes. I generally use the reference image method, so I'll show you how it's done. It's pretty easy. Just upload a reference image of a project you like. This is my reference image of a project I have done before. So I'll just upload it. Once uploaded, we have different options. This is the model option. I go with the V2 one. So I'll go with that. This is the style option. Keep it unselected. Go to the scenes, select architecture. Next mode. This is important. We have different modes, you can try them out on your own. Right now I'll go with the structure one. Now this is the creativity slider. More the creativity, the more changes AI will make in your original model. So I like to keep it very less, somewhere around 5. Then we have a negative prompt option of something you don't want in this image. You can type that. I'll keep it empty. Artistry, again it's important. It's a bit different from creativity. As with artistry, it does not change the original model. Rather, the final model gets a more artistic lighting and effects. So I'll keep the artistry till around 30. So we have perspective and lighting options, other options. Let's keep them the same for now and, and quickly hit on generate to see what happens. This generally takes a few seconds. So this is my final render. Not very impressive, I must say. So this generally happens with AI that the first attempt is not that promising. So we need to readjust our settings. Let's just go back. I'll improve, improve the creativity a bit and the artistry a bit more too and see what happens now. Three more options are ready. Let's just check them out. They look a bit better, but not good enough. Let's improve the artistry till 100% and creativity till 50 and see now what happens. So if you noticed, AI has changed my scene a lot. This is because my artistry and creativity is a bit too high. So let's go back and change them again. Decrease the creativity till 10, artistry till 50. Click on generate again. Okay, this one looks interesting. Let me get a quick analysis of how the original model was and how this AI has created it. There are a few differences from the original model. This window design has been changed. This wall AI has not read properly, so this needs to be fixed. Rest, the background can be improved a bit more too. Now we will use some more AI tools from Promi AI to fix these problems. Just go to the edit option. We have different options. I'll go with erase and replace. Now we are in this erase and replace tool and the image is uploaded over here automatically. We have these options. Replace, remove, retouch, recolor, insert, retexture, etc. Let's just fix the window. So just zoom in, select the window glass window click on generate so we have three window options ready so i'll keep this third option click on keep now let's fix this part again zoom in 
just click on it this is selected type a prompt type plain wall let's see what happens click on generate okay let's see what options we got looks better i think i'll keep this one this looks better so just click on the third option click on keep let's see the difference that we have created now just open the image again looks better now uh, another change that i want to do is change the grass over here so go to edit again go to edit so go to replace auto select and let's just add a bit greenery type the prompt grass with nice landscape click on generate and three options are ready let's check them out these look pretty impressive i think i'll go with this third option another thing i just want to crop this image a bit 16 by 9 ratio looks fine next i just want to tweak the sky a little bit maybe add some clouds so let's just type a prompt sky with few clouds so now i'm pretty much satisfied by the render i just want to convert it into an hd image so go to edit and then hd upscaler tool in this tool we have an option to type a prompt so i'll type make the foreground more sharp and press enter now let's see okay now this looks good i'm very much satisfied by it so let's just save the image another option that i like a lot that is out painting as i like to share my images on social media and a lot of apps that i use have an aspect ratio of 9 by 16 so i can easily convert this image into a 9 by 16 aspect ratio just click on it adjust the image in the canvas so it looks good on the entire mobile screen just, uh, click on generate now the canvas is filled up and i can upload this image on my social media and it will be viewed on the entire mobile screen easily i'll just save this one on my computer and upload it on my social media later so this is how i took this screenshot and converted it into this 3d render so easily and quickly there are a few downsides of using ai for rendering like i don't have 100 percent control over the materials and the final outlook as this part was different in my model let's just see like this and i had these design elements on top but they are missing in my 3d render and then again some details are missing like this window is not how i imagined it in my model it's different in the render as ai did not read it properly and the image is blur at places like over here this line is not straight and blur so these are some of the downsides of using ai these problems can be pretty troublesome if you're printing them or displaying them in high resolution but for general presentation and idea development this saves us a lot of time i hope you liked today's video please subscribe to the channel for more informative content like this take care goodbye